Hello again, a new project for today. You see I have this uh, 4K Wi-Fi SGCam Air camera and uh, after a long waiting, finally I got my GoPro lens and that's supposedly to be 170 degrees wide. I want to replace it with one of these GoPro lenses and then to have some 4K shootings for a real kind of uh, difference in between. Let's see if, if there is any kind of difference in between. So both of them are 170 degrees wide angle as advertised by a producer and uh, the replacement uh, wide angle M12 thread camera DV lens replacement for GoPro it's also 2.5 millimeter 170 degrees. Okay so let's get started. First of all we have to take this front panel out and this is very simple. I can use an electrum to do that. Just insert here I got a gap and then easy and slowly get all around. Out. And there we are. The face is off. I meant easy because we have these wires here and if you push this one too much then it's very possible to damage the wire so be careful with that. Okay, so the lenses are glued. You can't turn them on and off. And what I'm gonna do? Well, this is a very rude way to do the things. So even if I destroy it, I don't care because I have spare parts nice and gently with all around because that's silicone glue and there we go that's it just a little bit and now it should go by hand very nice and easy yeah and it's going just take it out you can even see the glue over there you should let's see so that's the sensor inside there. 16 megapixel sensor. And that's the infrared filter, this red one. And here is the glue. Okay. Well, it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty tough, so I, I don't think it's a siliconic glue. It's looking much more my, like a plastic, like a hot glue, maybe. Okay. But let me have one of these, which of them, doesn't matter. They are bright new. Like a first remark, look at the infrared filter over here. The GoPro, it's round and covered all around. And that one is squared. I don't think this matters. It's looking like the GoPro lens are a little bit longer the screw, see that? It's like half of millimeter or something. Okay, but that shouldn't be a problem. Check if everything is clean and it's absolutely pure clean. And this is the, the most delicate part, the way you put the screw back. So you have to be really careful not to miss the screwing Oh, like I almost, there is a certain way to do this and it's very easy to destroy. So if you feel like it's not going in the right position, don't push it. Take it out and try again. Fine, I found the right angle. Okay, so now you'll see how to have the right the right focal, how to make it sharp, you know. There, so that's why I'm gonna use my computer and turn this one into, into a PC camera. Open camera application on Windows and there we have the native laptop camera and the new one, of course. Let's go to the new one. And let's start recording. So 
so I'm recording now with this camera and move the lens until it's the right angle. I mean, the, until it's the right focus. And there we are. That's too much already. And I think that's it. You see, now we can have two kind of uh, focusing, let's say for, for distance, like this. But I'm much more interested in local focusing because i'm using this for shooting my tutorial so i need a very clear image of the table of the workbench that's sg4000 air with gopro lenses this will go back in the back for being a replacement part i don't know but i heard that if you take out this infrared filter it will be better lighting uh, to the sensor. I, I'm not sure and I don't want to experiment these things yet, but who knows, maybe soon. Anyway, uh, at the end of this video, you will have the same uh, shooting with both uh, lenses, the original and the new one. Now, all we have to do is to put top back, nice in place and there we are. Everything is looking really, really nice. So here we have the shootings almost from the same position. Uh, what I can say is that the GoPro lens are narrower. So the original are a little bit wider. They're supposed to be the same, but it's looking like they are not. But that doesn't really bother me. But uh, as long as the picture is a little bit better with the GoPro lens, more details. Also, I can say that uh, the original SG can be a little bit brighter. And uh, somehow, I don't know what to say, but uh, it feels like uh, the GoPro lens are much more in detail somehow. But okay, tell me what you see over there and let me know your opinion about. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope this is useful and I'll be back with some other projects soon. Don't forget to have fun and be safe. Bye bye.